The Cameroon youth soccer team won the trophy of the 2015 China Shanghai International Youth Soccer Tournament after beating Slovakia 2-1 last night. The final concludes a week-long tournament, which included four teams from China and eight teams from abroad. Our reporter So Wenjing takes a look. Even though neither of the teams in the final was from China, the Yanshan football stadium was still packed with many fans. Most of the Cameroon and Slovakian soccer players were under 18 years old and are candidates to national teams in their own countries. The Cameroon team's leader says, in fact, the result was not a surprise. Every day we train for two hours on that hot sun, and from 12 noon to, to 2 p.m., it's very, very harsh. You can imagine the hot sun on that 35, 40 degrees sometimes, and on that hot sun, and then we don't train in the... On, on grass pitches, the, 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 the ground is, uh, is, is soily and very, very hard, sandy and very, very hard too. In a country like Cameroon, I think the best way for us to show the image of the country is through football. The final attracted nearly 20,000 spectators and many of them are primary and middle school students. And during a break from their athletic efforts, soccer team members also spend time with their Chinese friends to learn more about local culture. In the Yangpu District Middle School, the young soccer players had a lesson in the art of Chinese calligraphy. They also visited some local tourism attractions like the Shanghai Museum and the Yuan Garden. I really enjoyed my time here. We were competitors during the match, but at the same time, we became good friends. Education officials say the tournament never meant to place an emphasis on skill and performance. Instead, they seek to improve the overall fitness of students and popularize the game among young people. One official said for many years, sports education in China has been attaching too much importance to indexes like lung capacity and endurance. Students may show little interest in items like standing long jump, running and pull-ups. Only after we have enough young people who are interested in the sport can we gradually raise our soccer level? We also need to pay attention to the psychological aspects of learning. Wang says soccer is a good sport to begin with in regard to improving Chinese participation. On the sidelines of the tournament, German soccer coach Klaus Schlappner was hired to be the consultant for the Shanghai School Soccer Training Center. Each of Shanghai's 1,500 primary and middle schools will have a soccer coach within the year. Song Wenqing, Shanghai Live.